Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Peabody uh, Institute Library Board of Trustees meeting. Uh, it is March 2nd. The time is 7.03. Uh, meeting announcement went out last week. Remote participation is allowed in accordance with sections 20A, B, and C of the Acts of 2021, signed to the law by Governor Baker on June 16, 2021, suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, General Law C, and section B. Alternative public access to this meeting shall be provided in the following manner. The meeting will be televised via Peabody uh, Access Television. Real-time public comments during the meeting can be addressed to the Board of Library Trustees utilizing the Zoom virtual meeting software for remote access. This application will allow users to view the meeting and make a comment or question to the chair via the audio option. Uh, link information and phone information to get to this meeting uh, as well as the live so um, moving on to the agenda, um, may I have a roll call, Sarah, please? Yes. Peter Bakula. Present. Stephanie Jolliet. She is present online. Francisca Luby. Here. John McCallum. Here. Stephanie Nazar. Kate O'Brien. Thomas Pappas. Present. And Quinn. Richard Struhan. Present. Jennifer Smith. Present. Ruth Heidelbaum. Here. Katrina Vassell. Present. Thank you. Thank you. So we do need four. We have seven uh, trustees here. Um, do I have a, a motion to approve the minutes of the previous meeting? Motion to approve. Thank you, Fran. Do I have a second? Second. second so. Katrina, <laughs> like four. You, you said, so Katrina is a second. And uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. We have a discussion at this point. Take a vote afterwards. Okay. Let's have a quick minute to leave in place. I did have some edits from Anne Flynn that she passed on. So. So can I? After everybody's done reading, can I make a motion to approve the minutes as amended by the director per Ann Quinn's suggestions or input? Sure, sure. I think we can do that as long as we capture all of those items. And I can read the um, the small changes that were made. That'll be perfect. That'll be yeah, I think that would be better. Thank you. So I can't do anything. Sorry. Thanks. Um. So the. Uh, the changes that Trustee Quinn made were the um, some of the discussions and questions for direct paragraphs were a little unclear. Um, so the first paragraph will now say Director Merlin stated that she later that she wanted to remain, remind all trustees that all Zoom meetings are publicly broadcast and that any eating and drinking should take place as possible before the meeting to ensure professional appearance. And then um, Trustee Shri Run asked about changing policy after requests for reconsideration are received. And whether this new procedure is viable, and then Director Merlin replied in the negative, and then this policy change would be effective as of its approval for future requests for reconsideration. So just clarifying that the current request for reconsideration under old policy, future under new policy. That was it. And then there's a little um, wording saying that Justin will create a dive for the George PB medals once it's designed, because that was up there. Those are the only changes. So approve the minute. I make a motion to approve the minutes as amended. Second. Second. Hmm. Thank you, Rich, for the first. And um, Don, I'm sorry, but Frank got the second there. Um, any discussion? Any further discussion? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? The motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Communications. Do we have any communications? There are no communications to receive, I believe. And we're moving on to the director's report. Good evening, everybody. Um, this is a short report, apparently tonight. Um, director's report to the Board of Trustees, March 2022. Staffing, senior West Branch librarian, Christy Bryant has resigned in order to take a position at another library. And her last day will be this Thursday, March 10th. We wish her the best of luck. I will be posting this position internally as soon as possible and expect to have the position filled as early as the end of this month. 
Um, I request this evening that the trustees approve a late opening, 12 p.m. at all locations on Monday, March 21st, in order to allow for an all staff training. Um, programs and initiatives. On Friday, February 18th, the main library hosted the PPI schools with their art show and acoustic coffee house performance and reception, and over 100 people attended this event, which included a toast to George Peabody's birthday and the attendance of teachers of all ages including Senator Lovely, Representative Walsh, and Representative Harris. The Spring Art Show is planned for Friday, May 20th. Um, the Peapod, our annual free seat library, will return for its fourth growing season this coming Saturday, March 12th, with flower, vegetable, and herb seeds available to patients at all three locations. On um, the budget, I've included the monthly budget for your review. Nothing is of concern. Um, my departmental budget request for FY23 is due to the city on Friday, March 18th. Um, policy. A committee of three senior librarians completed their review of Amazing Women of the Middle East, about which there has been a request for reconsideration filed in late January. Based on our policies, they did not recommend withdrawal of the title, and I agree. I sent the initial response with the senior librarians and my own comments to the patron who filed the complaint last week and have not received a response as of yet. Um, local history and Audubons. The next 15 Audubons are scheduled for pickup this coming Friday, March 11th. Um, the library has been awarded a preservation assessment grant from the Mass Board of Library Commissioners. This grant, applied for by senior local history librarian Catherine Vidal, will allow us to work with a qualified preservation assessor that can help libraries understand the full scope of their collection needs as well as formulate preservation plans. This grant covers the cost of the assessment and plan, and senior librarian Vidal is reaching out to the assessor provided us, plus by the state, to begin the process. Because of this grant, we have paused the search for window coverings and other repairs, as we anticipate these being included in the report with more suggestions that will need to be addressed. We will wait for the final report before moving forward. Um, this should be completed later this spring, and I will share the report with you. And then finally, already, building new grounds. Um, I met with the chair of the Peabody Historical Commission and other members this morning, who were thrilled to learn about the focus now being put on the main library building. It will support our plans moving forward to upgrade and improve courtyard lighting, and I'm still awaiting sample pictures for Bay State Lighting. Uh, new light bulbs for the light poles in the West Branch parking lot have been ordered and will be installed shortly. And I met with the head of city security to discuss security needs at all three locations. And we'll be meeting with the vendor that the city will be using for City Hall and the golf course regarding upgrading our current security cameras and adding more. That's it, short and sweet. I ask how much the grant is for? Um, it's for $4,200. Um, it basically just pays the fee for the attorney to come in and look at all of our collections and items and write up the report with suggestions. And we anticipate that our report um, is going to include a suggestion that we'll get everything appraised, which is something we want to do anyway, um, and also focus on um, the preservation of everything in the Sutton room, the Sutton room itself, and then everything in the vault downstairs of my office as well. And the last time we got one done was in 1999. So, yes, so it's been a while. Yes. I have a question. I have one more question. Um, so, the, I noticed the weigh in tonight where there's some uplighting that was steaming and it kind of looked like it was halogen. Is that uplighting going to be part of the where? Re relighting? I think up front, the light was steaming. I didn't look at it. They the ones on the on the in the on, on the ground. Uplighting the building. Those I, I wasn't planning on adjusting those as of now. Um, okay. I'm focusing on the courtyard full lighting, which is half of it out where the globes have broken um, and the light bulbs don't match. So the goal, the focus is on those because those need um, those also need to be upgraded to match the historical look of the building because now they match the 1978 look mm -hmm. of that side of the building and they're not very attractive. Um, at some point, I can look at those, but the goal right now is to focus on the um, on the courtyard lighting first. Thank you. Oh, and something else I neglected to put in here. I apologize. I'll add that. Um, I've been working with Peabody Light Plant to put um, a, a, a light on. There's a pole right at the top of the, uh, the parking lot, and the, right outside the children's room, there's an electrical pole, and there's no lighting in the parking lot, which is not great. So they're going to be putting, as soon as we get the account set up, um, a floodlight out there that's going to cover probably the top half or so of the parking lot. Um, and at some point, we can talk about adding another pool and the cost that goes with that. But as of right now, it's like a $65 setup fee and then $2.50 a month 
um, but there will be lighting, partial lighting in the parking lot, which there never has been. I, I can't remember, but is there a light there already? Nope, there is nothing in that parking lot. So, okay, I have just one more question. I'm sorry, Fran, I said I'd only- Go ahead. Um, Go there's, ahead. Um, how is the uh, custodian position doing? That's still um, as far as I know, it should be taken care of in the next couple of weeks. That's terrific. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Fran, you go ahead now. Thank you. Uh, question number one. Yes. What's the procedure going to be for the people? I oh, right. Garden Club. Yeah. Um, it's very simple because I used a fund this year. So I purchased a lot of packets of seeds from the Charles Hart Seed Company out of Connecticut. They're all organized in my office. They are going to go in the, um, the it's basically the same as it was back in the day. So I'm going to go in the three um, card catalogs at each location. Oh, so what you are going to do with the card catalog again? Yeah. You go in and you, uh, do you need help with that? No, nope, I'm good. Thank you. Oh, God. Everything's all ordered. <laughs> I ordered in past years, I've gotten donations of seeds, so they would come in and messy boxes and they would have to organize them. But this year they all came really in, you can see in my office, they came very beautifully organized in like these sleeves, these cardboard sleeves. So, so on the card catalog, is it going to be A through? Yep. Same thing. Yeah. Sign your name on what you took. Um, I don't even think we're, I'm going to do that this year. I think I'm just going to let people grab packets this year. I don't really. And that so I'm not. I don't want people to feel that they're obligated to stand around and like take seeds out of packets quite yet. So okay. I'm just going to limit. I'm going to ask people to limit themselves to five vegetables and five flower seeds. And just oh, that's maybe. that's great. So it's really simple this year. And it'll be up and running for people to take in it March 12th. Yep. Wow. Send them up Thursday and Friday. I'm sorry, I totally forgot to clue you in on that. It, no, that's okay. It was a very last minute thing. I kind of forgotten that it was spring already. So I placed an order and I organized everything. So. Well, that's great. Um, so now the courtyard. Yes. Um, so the God, Peabody Garden Club is yes. planting, it's already planted some spring flowers, but we're concentrating on the George Peabody House. Okay. But we need another uh, two more areas in the city okay. we're really trying to beef up the community um, involvement so do you want some planting help in the courtyard or would you rather it. have it out front I don't, um, I don't want to take on too much and then do a lousy job let's talk I, I well that was the other thing we should talk yeah so i do have the um we do have our we are doing our spring and fall cleanups going forward with the landscaping company that do all the stuff yep. we don't want to do like the raking out of the weeds and and trim everything and doing the first weeding of the season. And then it should be pretty, um, I can ask them to hold off on mulching then and come back another time to mulch until after these are planted, unless you don't mind. We don't mind. We'll talk though. Yeah. Let's decide. Okay. So give me a time when, when you, you know, which. I'll make it work whenever works for you. A couple of weeks. Sure. Okay. And I'll reach out to you. I think I'm done. Thank you. That's exciting. It's fun again. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Kate, this is John McAllister. Can you guys hear me? Rich yep. was going first. You can go right after Rich. I just okay. Thank okay. you. Whenever, I, whenever it's my turn. Go ahead. No, no, Your turn. Go ahead. Okay. When we were talking about the flowers, etc., is the Garden Club still doing the George Peabody gravesite? Uh, I've been in the Garden Club for six years, and this is the first I've ever heard of grave site but we will if you if you can give us a little guidance on what was there before we'd be more than happy to take that on too uh, I can just say that years ago we set this up with the garden club and I would go by uh, during the early summer and it would be there frankly I haven't looked in a long time because I thought it was just rote um, but base, basically they would put what they called succulents that would just keep growing all through the summer and typically come back up. It wasn't a, a big, uh, uh, huge affair. It just made it maybe about a dozen or so plants on the front and maybe three or four on the side. Okay, I'll add that to the list of things that we will take on. How's that? Appreciate it, thank you. Thank you. Anything else, Don? No, no, sir, thank you. Thank you, uh, go ahead. Turn. All right, I have a, a question I think I know the answer to. Now, the roof at the West Library is leaking. Mm -hmm. That's not in your budget, anyway. Right. That's in the city's budget. That's going to be a, a, a capital improvement request that I make. Right, and do we know for sure that's in? No, I haven't made the request yet. That, the request doesn't happen quite yet. It's for FY23. 
Okay, so, all right, just, okay, don't forget that one. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Anyone else for our director, any questions? Thank you. Thank you, uh, Director Merlin. And do I have a motion to receive the director's report? So moved. Katrina, thank you. And I think yep. it was, was that Don? Yep. Okay, Don, I'm sorry. No problem. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any Aye. And that motion carries unanimously. Thank you. All right, now next we're going to uh, reports. Uh, Otto Bonds, that's Kate O'Brien, she's not here this evening, and uh, I think we heard a little bit from um, our director. Um, Historical Society, that's Eric Quinn, and, uh, she's not here this evening. Uh, Friends of the Foundation, that's Stephanie Dujar, she's not here this evening. And Building and Grounds, we do have Rich uh, Shurkin. Rich. Uh, nothing to report further than the director's report. Thank you, Rich. And personnel, Don. Nothing besides the uh, director's report. Thank you. And then um, Katrina, policies and procedures. Nothing to report. All right, thank you, everyone. Do I have a motion to receive the uh, reports of the subcommittees? Motion to receive. Thank you, Fran. Second. And thank you, Jennifer. And any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any aye. opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Don, I didn't hear, hear from you. Did you say aye? Yeah, he did. Yes, I did. I, I thought I did. It was in harmony, so it was kind of hard to tell. This is a lag. It was a B flat. Hey, thank you. <laughs> it sounded like C sharp. <laughs> unfinished business. Do we have any unfinished business here we need to discuss this evening? I don't think so. Okay, thank you. Uh, any new business anybody would like to bring up that? So, put it up to the director. Just a proposal to the Google Delete. Uh, yep. Open. Yep. Delete open. Delete open. Second paragraph. You're going to make a motion? Okay. Uh, I make a motion for the trustees to approve the late opening from 12 p.m. Uh, at 12 p.m. for all three locations on Monday, March 21st in order to allow for all staff training. Second. Thank you, Fran. Rich, any discussion? Favor? Aye. Aye. Any Aye. opposed? Aye. Thank you, the motion carries unanimously. A resolution. I always have a hard time with this resolution thing, the way they, they write it up. All right. Uh, any matter suggested by a trustee to the library director prior to the issuance of the notice of agenda? Uh, we had none. And any matter suggested by any person in writing to the library director prior to the issuance of this notice of agenda of the meeting containing the title and description of the agenda items? And I guess we have none of that either here. So. This is going to be a quick meeting. Well, I do I have, have a question. question. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can do it in harmony. Uh, go, ahead. go ahead. Uh, is the next, if and is the next meeting April 4th? I assume so. That's the first Monday? Yeah. So I, uh, we had to rearrange the zoning board schedule. I won't be here. We have a zoning meeting. I love it when you're here. It's too cold. Um, I'll try. Okay. <laughs> what time is your zone meeting? Uh, seven. What time do you usually finish? Well, it depends what's on the docket. I think it's that's longer than that. Yes, <laughs> it's too close. Well, I think if we could make some adjustments to make it longer. Your turn. I have a question. Okay, so question, comment. Um, the meeting before December, we decided not to have our usual. Uh, meeting right. at a restaurant yeah and we were going to move it to the summer so that our new trustees could yeah. also join us uh have when's our last meeting for the summer and are we going to do it then june yeah the last meeting that's what i thought and yes sure so i just want to make sure we're all aware and we're going to do that i don't know the date off the top of my head june 6th 
Six. What the heck? I have another meeting. June six. How can that be? You're too popular. Everyone will have food though. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we have to change that. It's not supposed to be the first Monday of the month. Thank you. Yeah. That's going to be. Oh no, she's doing it on her own. Oh, it's a mistake. That's, that's going to be a mistake. Uh, yeah. So June sixth would be our last meeting here. The only piece of paper I don't have with me tonight is the. You're looking for the first Monday of June? Yeah. The 6th. It's on the 6th. Is that what yeah, you want me to say it one more time? Text them. There's uh, a couple <laughs> meetings that I have also that have changed. From but do you need to no, know, honestly, do you need to take a look at the calendar in case you. No, no, no. We had oh. an adjustment that we wanted to be. Oh, you did? At some so, Thank you, Fran. All right, so our next meeting would be April 4th. All right, um, do I have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Thank you. And any discussion? No discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Well, that's productive. I don't think that's a record, but it's getting close. <laughs> <laughs>